November 10th is celebrated as World Science Day for Peace and Development. In 2020, the theme for World Science Day is Science for and with Society. Let us have a look on how World Science Day is important to us. The first World Science Day celebrated worldwide on 10th November 2002 under UNESCO. The day which highlights the importance of role of science in society is World Science Day. It also underlines the importance and relevance of science in our daily life. The World Science Day for Peace and Development aims to ensure that the citizens are kept informed of developments in science. In 2020, global COVID-19 pandemic further demonstrated the critical role of science in addressing global changes. During the global pandemic, the focus of World Science Day is on science for and with society in dealing with the global pandemic. World Science Day strengthens public awareness of the role of science for peaceful and sustainable societies. This day promotes national and international solidarity, shared science between countries. This day draws attention to the challenges faced by the science in raising support for the scientific endeavor. The UNESCO Science Report is one of the tools that countries can use to monitor program towards the goal of United Nations Agenda 2030 for the Sustainable Development. Let us celebrate this day to understand the importance of the role of science and scientists for the sustainable society. Thank you. Number 10. World Science Day for Peace and Development. 2020 theme Science for and with Society. World Science Day for Peace and Development is an international day that highlights the important role that science has in society and is celebrated each year on November 10th. The day was proclaimed by the UNESCO in 2001 and celebrated for the first time in 2002. Objectives of Science Day Strengthen public awareness on the role of science for peaceful and sustainable societies. Promote national and international solidarity for shared science between countries. Renew national and international commitment for the use of science for the benefit of society. Draw attention to the challenges faced by the science and raising support for the scientific endeavor. Science is a way of thinking, much more than it is a body of knowledge. Carl Sagan History of Science Day The impact of science on people's daily life and its profound societal implications, including those of an ethical nature, make scientific literacy a prerequisite for effective democratic processes. At the World Conference on Science in Budapest, Hungary in July 1990, which had been co-organized by UNESCO and the International Council of Science, many delegates voiced their support for greater public awareness of science. The delegations of Ethiopia and Malawi, together with British Association for the Advancement of Science, proposed that a World Science Day, World Science Week, be created. The human brain, when awake, produces enough electricity to power a 40 watt light bulb for 24 hours. The first cockroach fossil is 280 million years old, 80 million years more older than the fossil of first dinosaurs. While dreaming, we become temporarily paralyzed. Space smells like a combination of hot metal, fuel and barbecued meat. We can guess how weird smell it will be, right? Venus is the only planet to spin clockwise. Our solar system started off as a swirling cloud of dust and gas when eventually collapsed into a spinning disk with the sun as its center.
talk about water. Water is very amazing. It can occur three states. Water, then. Solid, liquid and gas. Can you see gas states? Water is evaporating by heating. Let me show you. Today, I am going to show you an experiment related to vacuum. First, what is vacuum? Vacuum is a space with no matter or low pressure. For this experiment, we need a plate, a canteen, a glass and some colored water. First, we take the plate and we light up the canteen. Then, we pour the colored water in the plate. Then, we take the glass and put over the canteen. After some time, you will see the light going. So, it's meaning if the oxygen inside the glass is finished. After some time, you will see the water rising up into the glass. Thank you. show an experiment to prove that air is released through stomata. Bubbles were emerging from stomata when put in hot water. This proves that oxygen is released from stomata. Today I am going to do an experiment uh, about a chemical reaction. The combining of two different substances to form another substance is called a chemical reaction. I am going to do the experiment. Pour some water. Add some vinegar. And some soap. Some color also. Mix it well. And 
and at last some baking soda. You can see a lava forming up. This is because the uh, mixing of vinegar and baking soda form another new substance. This is called the chemical reaction. Thank you. Hello friends, I am here to show a model of water dispenser. A water dispenser is as its name implies a device used to dispense water. It is used to provide easy access for drinking water. Water dispenser have become a necessary part of society. Some water dispensers provide a clean filtered water from a replaceable bottle. Other water dispensers provide water straight from municipal lines. A water dispenser is used to perform functions like cooling water, heating water or heat filtering water. A water dispenser may be useful in various situations. A water dispenser may be useful for schools, offices, etc. It is environmentally opted. So next I am going to show the working principle of water dispenser. The water flows only because of the presence of vacuum pressure inside the bottle. Water dispenser is a simple machine used to save water in our daily life. I am Alan. Here I am going to present aquaponics system. Aquaponics means incorporation between plants and fishes. It is originated from two words aquaculture and hydroponics. Aquaculture means growing of fishes in closed environment and hydroponics means growing of plants in soilless environment. In this process, the water which contains ammonium rich with decaying of plants from the fish tank flows to the biofilter in which the plants absorb the minerals and filter the water and pour back into the fish tank. Thank you. This is an experiment to demonstrate real and apparent depth. First of all, let me introduce real and apparent depth. Apparent depth in a medium is the depth of an object from the denser medium when seen from the rarer medium. Apparent depth is always smaller than real depth. The materials required is a jug of water, pencil, a plain vessel for the demonstration of the real and apparent depth. Here we go with the demonstration. First we want to pour water into the plain vessel. Dip the pencil into the vessel. The portion of the pencil which is dipped into the water is slightly shifted from its original position. This is apparent shift. The tilting of the pencil is due to refraction. The result proved in this experiment shows that real and apparent shift is due to refraction.